Since its birth on September 9, 1965, Simon Fraser University has stood out as an architectural jewel atop Burnaby Mountain. SFU's architects Arthur Erickson and Jeffrey Massey pioneered a building design that so well married aesthetic and academic vision with environmental sensitivity, it made SFU the talk of the world. Just over 40 years later, on September 19, 2007, a new 7,529 square meter building at SFU Burnaby, known as the Arts and Social Sciences Complex One, or ASK One, open to enthusiastic applause. The new building's designers, Busby Perkins and Will Architects, have really pushed the envelope on the original architect's achievements. The natural lighting, the repeat patterns of wood, glass and concrete, and the floor-to-ceiling windows are reminiscent of the architectural beauty in Arthur Erickson's original design of SFU. But as in Erickson's creation, the architectural beauty in ASK-1 is more than skin deep. Many features are as environmentally sensitive and energy efficient as they are beautiful. They advance Erickson's efforts to harness the rain and the sun. All of the four sides of the buildings are quite finely tuned in terms of what's required to manage the heat and manage the sun, but still have as much glass and openness to the outside and daylight as we could. Vertical glass shades employ frit, a ceramic material that cuts sunlight, to minimize heat on the more heavily sun-exposed east and west sides of the building. Exposed concrete ceilings in the perimeter rooms create a thermal mass to store heat. Horizontal eyebrows shade the building on its south elevations. Generally what we want to try and do is control the solar gain on the exterior of the building as opposed to letting it come in and then trying to combat it with blinds and things because once the heat is inside the building then um, it, it takes a lot of work and usually mechanical systems to get rid of that heat. A green roof seeded with succulents that change color with the seasons helps to clean the air and retain heat in the winter. The roof also absorbs the area's copious rainwater, raising the bar on Erickson's use of this environmentally sensitive feature. For the first time, SFU is combining green roofing with underground water storage to irrigate plants and replenish evaporating pond water. It's especially relevant here because Burnaby Mountain has a big issue with storm water runoff. One of the primary uses of the green roof is to retain the water so that we don't get the runoff going down the mountain. Inside, several features improve sound and air quality and energy efficiency. We're sitting right now in the 350 seat lecture hall and this is a good example of uh, types of materials that are used throughout the building. The wood is grown in a way that's uh, approved for proper growth and forestation practices. In the theater here we have what's called displacement ventilation and that's a way of ventilating which is a lot more energy efficient than the typical forced air and it's, uh, it's below the seats. Throughout this building where we have large areas of assembly or things that generate a lot of heat, there's a system in place called the heat recovery system and uh, the, the air that is warm gets recovered through coils and used back into the system as opposed to heating up fresh air from scratch. The really significant design evolution in this building is the way it's modulated its exterior elevations. We really wanted to push both the continuance of Arthur Erickson's original design ideas and in a way that really promoted sustainability and green initiatives. Ask One's design meets high North American standards for energy conservation. They cut consumption to about 40% of what conventional buildings consume in Canada.